So you guys are going to be working on an inquiry project um, for my biology class. And um, I just wanted to, I'm actually at the university right now, UBCO here in Kelowna. And I'm touring around. And these are some really, really great um, inquiry projects that students have done. Um, and the reason why I want to showcase this is because they actually follow the exact same template that you're going to be using for this course. So there's an introduction, and in that they have their hypothesis and their objective, um, which is really cool. This one's got a site description because it shows exactly where they were working. Um, so you're going to be doing this exactly in your introduction. Um, I'll skip this. They did their methods, so they've got what they did, how they did it, and then they have the results. So what I really love about this is that they have their tables, all their data, and then they also have a visual representation. So they actually have some sort of graphing. Um, you can see some you know, relationships. There's a, you know, a negative relationship here, um, a more positive relationship here um, for what they were studying, which was nutrient status um, in ectomycorrhizal, which is a cool thing. And then they have their conclusions at the very bottom. So this is exactly what I want you to sort of think about when you're making your own inquiry project. Um, and these are the different sections that you're going to, be, um, going to be working on. So, you know, this guy um, did it on environmental science. It's super cool. Uh, I just want you guys to be able to see, you know, what one will actually look like at the end. Um, you're going to be doing it all written. This was a poster, um, but it looks really nice. And funny enough, uh, this guy's supporting teacher, um, there's three of them, um, but Melanie Jones actually taught me. She taught me uh, genetics. So fun stuff here at UBCO, and I look forward to seeing your inquiry projects.